What is going on, Sagittarius? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so I didn't know if this was going to be my last reading for the day, if I was going to finish with the reading before, but my last client was a Sagittarius. So I'm like, you know what? Because of you, I'm going to do it. So shout out to her. So let's get into things. Let's see what's up, guys. Now, this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Sagittarius signs. Keep in mind that the energy could be transferable. It could be your energy that I'm picking up on, or it could be the energy of someone or something around you. All right, Sag, what is going on? You guys have definitely been viewing your videos more, so that's awesome. Thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Definitely, you know, turn on those notifications if you fuck with this channel. All right. So what is going on? All right, so we have spiritual union. Very powerful, very strong. We have disruption and we have base chakra. Okay, so let's start here. The energy at the bottom is transformation. So there is a big change happening right now, Sagittarius. Um, you're definitely in a place where you're worried about what's important. Okay, I need my life to change. I need it to be in a very drastically good way. And I want peace. I want stability. I want a solid home. I want to make sure there's food in the fridge. I want to make sure that all my necessities are there. And the bare minimum, of, you know, the, the survival shit, you know, that's taken care of. But maybe there's something in your life where it's just like it can compromise this. Or maybe you went through some sort of compromise where it got you thinking more like this. So what's important? Who's important? What sort of partner do I want in life? What sort of job do I want in life? Um, you know, this is also, do I love myself? Um, am I at one with myself? Okay, so it's deep stuff. But because of something you went through or some sort of change you have a lot that comes in you have truth you have material harvest so with material harvest this is something that is attainable some of you can be getting new homes some of you could be like it whatever this is it's going to be tangible it's going to be something you can say like look this is mine you can show it you can hold it you can feel it okay or you can touch it because I, I don't think we're we can hold a house you know but this is strong, all right? Recognition and reward. So you're being seen, you're being heard, all right? And we have, yeah, you guys have something strong coming in. Material and spiritual prosperity, shadow, temptation, harmony. So even though you guys have this energy here, whether it's coming from you or someone else, disruption, shadow, temptation, you're aware okay you're aware of what's not going to work out for you your, your mind is right you're going to move forward in a very good way okay but it doesn't mean it's not going to tempt you okay you have temptation and you have stability and then you have choose wisely after that so you take the hopeful path you take the path where it's going to bring you balance you cut out the bullshit so you can have some triumph and success okay i really do feel like there's some sort of loss you're going to endure or something that you just have to realize but um, it's temporary. You have the light right after that. Spirit is saying stand your ground. Six of, uh, well, I was going to say six, six of cups, but it says six memories of love. So there might be things that you think about, people that you miss, but you know what's best. You know what you need to move away from. Solitude. Okay, so once you move away from something, fulfillment of wishes. So guys, this is very solid. And again, you're focused on what's important we have one two three here that's beautiful okay so it's a progression there are steps that you have to take to get you here but you're here okay that's solid all right Saj. so let's get into your past present future let's see what is going on now guys all of this artwork that you see around me it's actually my cousins she is so freaking talented and she's self-taught and i think it's incredible um and she's finally selling one of her pieces it is on the community page on my t uh the community tab on my channel page okay so you guys can check it out but follow her support her you know, it's, it's beautiful to see someone be able to do something that they're so good at, okay? All right, guys. So, past, present, and future, Sagittarius, what are you going through? Let's talk about it.
Okay. All right. Okay, guys, so let's jump right into this. So the energy that you have here is the Three of Wands, okay? So with the Three of Wands, this is expansion, this is growth. Is it something that you were waiting for that comes in? Or is it something that you're turning your back on because you want more, because you want to expand, because you want to see, you know, what happens if I get on that boat and go overseas and go to that uncharted territory, okay? But there's a huge change where I feel like you guys turn your back on something and you take a, on like a whole new adventure and there's expansion and there's a lot there, but it's like, do I release this? Do I not? But eventually balance is found, okay? So let's talk about these energies, guys. Let's see what's going on here. Let's start with your past. So we have the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Wands in the reverse, and the Three of Cups in the reverse. For some, you're realizing something was an illusion. Maybe a group of people that were being fake with you, co-workers that were gossiping, um, a relationship where someone you know was seeing multiple people and wouldn't settle down. But it's like something was an illusion and you really felt like you had to release a burden. So why is the Seven of Cups here? Two of Swords in the reverse. Moon card. Yeah, something became clear and you made a decision. It's like, look, something was an illusion or I have a lot of ways that I can acquire something and I chose the way that I'm going to acquire it. But a choice was definitely made. There was some sort of enlightenment here. And I feel like a lot of you brought yourselves out of an untrustworthy uh, situation. Whether you were the one who couldn't be trusted or someone else couldn't be trusted, you know, someone removed themselves um, just from a very manipulative sort of energy where they could have been lying and cheating. Okay. Why is this Ten of Wands reversed for the past? We have the Emperor, the Page of Wands, and the Temperance card in the reverse. Okay. You guys knew what was up. Your soul felt really uncomfortable with something. Something just wasn't sitting right within you. Or maybe someone that was around you, something wasn't sitting right with them. But you did the powerful thing. Okay? You you took a path where it's just like, look, I need to make the decision that's most logical, not the one that is necessarily most easiest. Okay? So let's see why the Three of Cups in reverse is here. This is your last card for the past. So why is this Three of Cups in the reverse here? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. We have a few cards here. Seven of Wands in the reverse. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Four of Cups. So someone is just at a point of depletion. It's like, look, no matter what I say, how I try to bring this about, what sort of methods I try to use, it's just, it, it's not happening, okay? There's something that's not happening despite the effort. So it's like, I'm sorry, I can no longer accept this. I need to turn my back. There's more in this world and I wanna see it and I wanna find it and it's just too much. Okay, so you definitely let go of something. And Sagittarius, this gave you balance. Okay, it might have been an unstable transition as you like came out of this, but there's recovery. If you were, if you're still sad about it now, or you're still like, you know, feeling a type of way, that definitely does dissipate. Okay, now in the present moment, guys, we have the strength card in the reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is the middle energy of this entire reading. This is your core energy. And I like that it's the Ace of Pentacles because this talks about longevity. This talks about stability. This talks about something that is tangible for a long time. Something that can be grown over a long time. Something that has the potential to um, just grow a lot. Okay. So let's see why these cards are here. Um, with the King of Swords in the verse and Strength card in the verse, this could be something that weakens you. For some people, God forbid, you know, maybe it's a, a situation where there's abuse mentally, physically, emotionally, verbally, or maybe someone is just saying, look, I can't take this shit anymore. I, I have to protect myself. I have to do what's right. I have to go, you know, to an extreme measure to make sure that I'm good or the people around me are good. So what's going on here? So first card, strength card in the reverse. Why is this here? We have the King of Cups in the reverse. Five of Swords and the Queen of Wands. There's too much conflict. I feel like someone is getting played or again, just a lot of manipulation. But it's like, look, I can succeed so much more without this in my life. Like this is gonna throw me completely off course, okay? 
So you guys, again, like the, the main worry here is I'm concerned with getting my life together. Like I feel like you guys get to a point where it's like, depending on what it is for you, because it's going to be different for everyone. But it's like, I don't want to play around in the dating field anymore. Like I want my person or I don't want to keep going to all these pointless jobs. Like I need to follow my passion. Like it, there's a, a change, there's a transfer where it's like, no, this shit is serious. Like I have to focus. And that's what it is. That's what you're focusing on because there's things where people couldn't be trusted or maybe you were just lying to yourself, but somebody somewhere wasn't genuinely invested in something that was in their lives. And it's just, it's time to let it go. All right, it, it's not you. And that's what you focus on, finding what is you. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is your core energy. Why is this here? All right, so that wants to fall out. We have the Nine of Wands, so stand your ground. Now, with the Nine of Wands energy, you know, 10 is the number of completion in tarot. Nine, with the Wands, it talks about burden, heaviness. Like, you feel like the whole world is on your shoulders. But, again, since 10 is the number of completion, you're right at that point where most people would give up not even realizing that they were about to make a breakthrough. So this is not a time to feel bad for yourself or to be like, fuck it, I can't stand this anymore because whatever it is that you can't stand is about to change dramatically. So see that through. All right, we have the Four of Swords here. So it's like your mind is stuck on something. There's something that you guys haven't gotten past. All right, what can't be trusted here? Because there's something you're going to lose faith in, and then there's a lot of happiness that comes in, but there's somewhere where you're feeling tension or there's just a lot of bullshit, and like mentally you just need to get over something. I'm going to pull one more card for this core energy. Page of Cups. So there's my, there might be something that is offered to you, but it's like it just, something about it just doesn't feel genuine. So spirit is just really saying look you're really going to remove yourself from something you're going to kind of have like this hermit attitude towards someone or towards something um maybe you're just taking time to yourself and you don't want to be bothered with the outside world too much right now okay but with the world card despite what's happening this change is very positive for you it's like a whole new chapter comes in and boom ten of pentacles um i'm, I'm more of a tarot person than an astrology person like i'm starting to delve into it now but Guys, I don't know, and y'all let me know if there's something going on astrologically that can bring in a lot of money. I just see money for everyone, okay? So I see a lot of abundance coming in, so definitely take advantage, all right? So the last card for the present moment, we have the King of Swords in the reverse. So why is this here? Because this is a very intense energy. Knight of Swords in the reverse, okay. Eight of Wands in the reverse. There's going to be a situation, guys, where the worst that could have happened, it has happened. There's no need to have any more drama with this, okay? But I think that maybe something drastic can have you cut a situation or a person off or vice versa. Or are you just realizing that there's a place where it's reckless if you're involved in this? Let me get one or two more cards here. Two of Pentacles. King of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, I don't trust whatever energy this is. I don't trust it. Okay. There is definitely a need to think logically because something is just out of a person's control right now. I think that there is an inevitable truth or some sort of inevitable pain that might have to be felt. Okay. But someone's just trying to figure out, you know, do I do this? Do I not? But whether it's you or someone else, something just can't be trusted. Something is just reckless. Something just has to go, guys. Okay. So let's look at your future after all this goes down. We have the devil card. We have the high priestess in the reverse. And we have the sun card. Okay. It's like someone deep down inside knows that something is a mistake. There's red flags, but like they're choosing to turn a blind eye. Now, there could be a blessing that comes in or something that comes to light. But let's take this step by step. Let's start with the devil card. So why is the devil here? For some of you specifically, maybe this has to do with the Capricorn. We have the Page of Swords in the reverse. All 
And we have the fool card. So yeah, there's just something where it's like, I have to let this go. There could have been fighting, there could have been arguing, but someone is just so ready for a new path. And whether it's you or someone that you're dealing with, someone's like, you know, I'm not even stressed. You know, I'm not gonna feel like I've been left out in the cold. Like, I'm gonna be patient throughout this, but I'm not manifesting this any longer. So it's kind of like a slow and steady wins the race thing where you just protect yourself and life changes drastically. Okay. I see a lot of sword energy. So if it's not you guys dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, then it's you guys just, again, it's like, I have to put my heart to the side right now. I have to put my feelings to the side right now. Um, and I really need to think this out. Okay. Next card, High Priestess Reversed. We have the world card okay so that world card keeps wanting to come for you a new chapter is going to come in you're unsure about it you're questioning it but the worst again that could have happened has happened so you took the logical steps in the situation where it was just out of control maybe you're unhappy or someone else was but just too many secrets that's why something you know didn't succeed but you do have balance because of something you choose not to build on all right so a change is made even if you're unsure it's still happening Okay, so the Sun card, where does this ultimately lead you to? Five of Wands in the reverse. Queen of Swords, all right? Something makes you really happy and it's because you focus and you are logical. This is not something where you have to fight, where you have to argue, none of that, okay? And again, this doesn't bring you anxiety. So I think for a lot of you, it, it may not necessarily have been a person or like a job you're moving away from. I think for a lot of you, it's just like, look, I was living inauthentically. I was living in a way that I just, I don't want that life anymore. It wasn't for me. It wasn't, you know, the right path. And it could be hard to break with things, especially if you've been living a certain way for, you know, a certain amount of time. But you make the right call and you say, look, this isn't how I want to live. This isn't how I want to be. This isn't who I want to be with. This isn't the job that I want. And boom something strong comes in but again there was something depleting here there was something that couldn't be trusted um you you just have to trust yourself you know with Sagittarians though you guys should be I think you guys are better at that than a lot of other signs like for example I'm a Taurus so I can't like for me changes really need to be premeditated you know I need to do my research I need to know where I'm going what I'm doing who I'm seeing what it's about I think with you guys you have the ability to really adapt to different environments like I feel like someone can come up to you guys and be like hey you're going to Hawaii tomorrow and you're gonna meet this person here and it's gonna be a blast and you're gonna be like fuck yeah and you guys are running to like pack your suitcase and I'm just like wait where am I going with who and uh, like I have all, like I feel like you guys just you take life by the horns or whatever the, the saying is so this is something where you you're going to be able to adapt and you're going to be very very happy just don't be afraid to make the change even if see you know it seems drastic or it seems you know just very sudden like it, you guys you guys are like the queens and the kings of that okay you can handle change All right, so let's get some advice. Let's see what spirit uh, wants to guide you or what spirit wants to say to you guys. All right, so what is some guidance here? Now, guys, if this is resonating with you so far, there is a link in the description below to donate. Thank you so much to those that do. It really helps a lot with keeping my life going and the channel going. All right, so what is the advice here for you guys? Now, you guys can find me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44 I am also on Twitter, Bruja Shit, okay? But all of that is in the description below. All right, so Sag, what do you need to hear? We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords. We have the King of Cups in the reverse. So something is going to be exposed. There's something here coming out where you just need to look at things logically, you need to think clearly, and you need to speak your truth, okay? Something that you desire from the past may come in strong, but there's something that makes you guys anxious or made you anxious where you're realizing this is a waste of time and effort, okay? So there's a loss there, but then you build something very, very fulfilling. So some of you could be 
um, you know, maybe fixing something from the past or dealing with something with the past, but there's definitely something being let go of where maybe a person, a person rather, couldn't be trusted. I think that a majority of you are in like a planning phase, but you have what it takes to like actually take that action and make it happen. We have the Nine of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. So there's going to be something that really makes you happy as that comes in, a path where you're just, you're ecstatic. And you have to stand your ground with that. And you have to stand your ground against things that you know don't serve you. Okay? Um, and be careful of any sort of self-sabotage or people who are just doing the most. Because I, I feel like there's an energy that can bring on some sort of unnecessary burden and that just needs to be cut out, okay? There's something that triggers you guys and a new beginning with this is something that you really need to protect yourself from, okay? But I feel like this is something that actively bothers you. It's not like someone from the past that has bothered you, but then you haven't spoken to them for a year. No, I feel like this is something like current, okay? So some sort of secret is revealed. Something comes out, but somehow that leads you to wish fulfillment okay so the secret leads to wish fulfillment that's what i'm going to name this reading this is awesome guys all right well, maybe it's not awesome how it's brought about but there's something that you need to see there's something that you need to reject so something's going to make you walk away from something but you accept happiness you accept that recognition that spiritual union that material prosperity so don't worry about how initially this goes down because it works in your favor. And even if it's handed to you in shitty packaging, there's something great in the package, okay? All right, Sag, I love you guys so much. If you guys need a personal readings, the only ones I have offered, or that I'm offering rather, um, are the emergency ones. So you get those within 24 hours. If you order on the weekend, I don't always work on the weekends. Um, so you'll get it either Monday or Tuesday. But other than that, guys, I am here if you need absolutely anything. And I love y'all. I'll see you guys for October readings next. Take care.